Woohoo, you guys! Welcome back, my creative peeps. Today is Take 5 Art Challenge Day. For those of you that have no idea what nonsense I'm talking about, uh, I do a art challenge every month with a bunch of lovely ladies who are all linked in the description box for you so you can check out their creations. But basically we have five prompts that we have to use in some type of art piece. And I almost never do a journal page. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, I, we hope that you guys will take part with us. So use the hashtag Take5Art. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. But this month's prompts are washi tape, texture paste, yellow, two stamps, and splatters. And those prompts were chosen by the lovely Helen. Um, so, yes. Anywho, I decided to do some, usually I do mixed media cards, but this time I did like actual like cards. Instead of journal cards, I'm doing like greeting cards, mixed media stuff. So yeah, what I did was I took um, some watercolor paper and cut it down and folded it in half so it's like six by four and a half or something like that and then I stamped a bunch of images on there now the prompt is yellow but you know I can't do four yellow cards like it's just not me so I only technically do the challenge for two of them but shh don't tell anybody <laughs> So I outlined each of the cards in washi tapes to make some really nice clean lines um, and I'm just working on the cards. Um, this one has a octopus stamp on it and I added some yellow washi tape to that. Um, I did one with a Dilutions stamp with the deer. Um, and I did one with a label and a you are here. So yeah, all the stamping. And then I took some, you know, texture paste and I actually mixed it with some matte medium because my modeling paste is like super thick because it's so old. Um, and I really didn't want them to be that raised. Like the texture paste really gives a raised effect and I wanted it to be a little less textury. So I thinned it out with the matte medium which worked perfectly fine. Um, and of course I used a different stencil on each card um, because I'm trying to make them a little different. But I didn't use texture paste on the one with the label stamp, but that's okay. Like I said, only two of the cards are technically part of the challenge, so. Here we go, doing all the stenciling. I used a bubble stencil on the octopus one because see, yeah, and then I had some paste left over, so I just grabbed a couple journals that I'm randomly working in um, and made some texture, paste, stencil things in those. When will I ever get back to those? No idea, but they're there whenever I feel like doing it. Then I grabbed a bunch of my oxides and decided to do my background colors with them. So this first card here with the deer, I used ice spruce and, oh God, another color. Later, we'll, we'll see what it was later. <laughs> oh boy, Leon. Um, then I used peacock feathers and faded jeans on this one. Um, and then I used fossilized amber and honey on the third one and faded jeans on the fourth, I believe. But I really, I just really love Distress Oxides um, because, yeah, <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just really love them. I don't know, maybe because they get all like grungy and I don't know. I can't explain what an oxide is like. My brain just mush, mush brain. <laughs> so, yeah. Any 
anyway. Not much more to say about that. Uh, just doing doing some coloring. So after I did all the oxide, I wanted knew I wanted to layer some things up, and I had gotten some Dilutions Glimmer sprays or Shimmer sprays, whichever is the technical term for them. And I really I had some colors I hadn't tried it out yet, um, like the blue and a purple. So I thought today would be the uh, perfect day to try that out. But first, we are going to add some De La Rowney acrylic ink to this card with the iced spruce on it. I really wanted to make the deer stand out. I didn't want to have to color him in. He's going to stay white. So what I did was I kind of created a background with that iced spruce, and then I took the De La Rowney ink and um, went around him to, yeah, make him... Make him stand out and look to make him look like he was supposed to be white. So now it kind of looks like he's on top and not on bottom. <laughs> yeah. So uh, don't be fooled. I didn't plan any of this. It's all just like, oh, this sounds like a good idea and did it. So this is some, um... oh crap, Dina Wakely. There we go. It's some Dina Wakely heavy body acrylic paint, which I, this is the cheddar color. It's the only color I have, but I'm currently obsessed and may have bought a stock load of it. Um, I went on a serious shopping spree this week. I don't know why. It's totally not like me. This has nothing to do with the Take 5 challenge, but you know, Leanne voiceovers. <laughs> so yeah, I'll share that haul with you soon, but I, I don't know what it got into me. I just, I bought a bunch of stuff art stuff so another video but right now I'm using the dilution shimmer spray in that blue color I kind of sprayed it on the octopus and then sprayed some water to spread it out a bit uh, to kind of make it look like he's inking I guess um, is what it ended up looking like of course again not my intention just all happy accidents totally wing it fake it till you make it Take five art. <laughs> so then I added some of uh, the same shimmer stuff in green and yellow to the one with our little dear friend here. Um, and I really like how that turned out. I love the kind of brick rustic look um, mixed with the color scheme. Super cool. So, yep, yep doing that and then I added the purple to the label card and oh my is that freaking pretty like really cool love that and then I took a bunch of uh, what are they called they're like media collage words from Dina Wakely I'm obsessed with these things her sayings on these are amazing you get 20 tissue like three by three tissue sheets with a bunch of sayings on it um, for like three four or five bucks or something like that but the sayings are awesome so the one on the you are here tag I put spend energy on what matters if you don't like where you're planted uproot and move and they're made to use separately but I think they sound really good together so I left them together um, and then on the blue one I put break the rules don't be tamed and live your truth because, of course, one, octopuses are great, and two, I follow no rules. Um, even in the very simple Take 5 challenge, I made blue and purple cards. So, do y'all thing is the, uh, the take home lesson in that. I just put your beautiful, super classic on the dear one, and then turn mistakes into beauty on the um, last one there because I then realized that while I'm trying to keep it as part of the challenge I uh, didn't put two stamps on it so yeah um, then I'm just using my colored pencils um, to put some stars and some borders on um, I'm really into colored pencils lately don't know why they're they're coming back as a fan favorite so you'll be seeing more of those in the future but yeah, just kind of doing tidbits and stuff. Um, off camera, you don't see me do it, but I did add some yellow to the octopus where the little section cup things are. 
And as a yellow border, it looks really cool because it matches that yellow washi in the background. Um, and it's definitely my favorite and my pen pals will not be getting that one. That one is going in my journal. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> I always try to keep one of them. But yeah, that one's definitely my favorite. And I also outlined the octopus um, stamp in a deep blue indigo color um, to kind of make the octopus stand back out. So here are some lovely close-ups for you. Uh, you can't, I mean, you can kind of see the shimmer, uh, but it's a little difficult. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and putting up with my babble. Oh, oh, the other thing, I forgot to add splatters. But you know what? I think they look boss, and if I added splatters, it would uh, mess it up. You'll see a little close-up of some splatters in a second. But you know, I'm taking creative license, and... You don't have to do everything by the rules. So there are no splatters. If that disqualifies me, that's okay. Um, but <laughs> just do your own thing, guys. Have fun with it. Hashtag take five art. Everything you need to know is in the description box. Please check out the other ladies so you can gleam some inspiration from them. There are those little splatters. <laughs> we do have a lady joining us this time. So check out the description box for that. Can't wait to see what you guys come up with. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos and all that general junk. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.